What's up guys, Mops and Gerbin here. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a quick stand for the games like Nintendo Switch games or Nintendo 3DS games that you lost, that, uh, well, cases of that you lost. Don't know where to put them, so I'm gonna show you how to, how to make a case for them. Um, so all we'll need here is a glue gun, uh, a knife, well, it's a sorry knife, some papers and a cardboard box. You might remember this box from my uh, video, from my set video thingy. Uh, for my for the for the video where I built this set. So yeah, check that out one out. So yeah, these are 3DS games I have here. I have Yoshi's Island, Crusher, and Mario Maker. I'm gonna put them here for now and first I'm gonna show you how to make this. Okay, so first of all, get the ends of the plastic box, these two flaps here. Cut them off with your scissors or whatever works best for you. I'm using scissors because it's easier and the knife I'll be using later. You just need to cut out these two ends right here. Sorry about the background noise, so. Or more release there or something. I don't know. Well, I don't know. What I'm doing. And okay, now the other end. No. Yes. Yeah. Good. We got these two. Now we need to get the bottom part. Take off the tape here, and, and take off the tape, oh. and we need this one flap, this one. this box anymore. And now we've got these three pieces right here. And so what we're going to do is, first of all, we need to um, put it in a triangle like that. Triangle. Get the big, biggest piece you cut you're not in, on the bottom and the two other ones. Like a triangle. Just like that. And we need, we'll need to glue that with our glue gun. Now we've got ourselves a triangle. Probably see where I'm going right now. How to finish this. Okay. Now just take off the the rest of the glue that you don't need to make it look better. Now what you need to do is you need to cut uh you need to measure it out like that and cut a hole down. That's why I didn't need my knife for. A little a little bigger than your uh, thing itself. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Actually, for this, I also need a pen or something. Or a pencil. Where's my pen? Pen. <laughs> So you don't need to trace the whole thing, just the bottom part and a little over it. 
and like I said, you need to make it you need to make it a little bigger than the thing is itself, than the card is itself. And this is why soon. So you see that right there? That's that's my thing. And okay, close the marker. And just do this multiple times if you have different ones. So and now this is the tricky part, you actually have to like put in like an invisible line over that and that to cut it and cut kind of like a downwards uh, kind of like a hole like that a yeah, square hole okay i'll just get out this hole right here and i'll show it to you guys Like this, kind of like a hole in there. And then, just get your phone, get your uh, chip. And I like the 3DS ones because they have this thing and it's easier to put it in. And and if you did, if it didn't, if you made it a little bigger, put glue around it. Put glue around it and make it a little bigger. If you made it a little smaller, just like get it in until it fits in, like that. So I made mine a little big. So to do that, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here, just a tiny bit. I'm not gonna glue it anything, just for like support, just so it will be better. So it'll fit better, and while I'm at it, I will glue this part out, 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 out. I'll glue this part right here uh, again because I broke it while I was doing it. I'll glue this part right here. Uh, again, because I broke it while I was doing it. Okay, good. Now, it's going to dry up. Okay, so it's good. Now I'm going to wait so the glue dries up. And yeah, it's all dried. Yeah, you can clean it up later. This is just like a rough, a rough uh, showing how it's supposed to look. And so, yeah, it will look somewhat like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make a bunch of these. Well, three because I have three chips. You can do this for any size you want. And yeah, I'm gonna do a time lapse of me doing these three. And yeah. There you have it. Um, this is a small, a small holder for all of your games that you lost the case of. And as, like I said, this works for any chips or anything. I just used Switch. I just used um, the, not Switch, just a non Nintendo Switch game. This is a 3DS game. Um, so because I lost their cases, so I made this thing. And yeah, it doesn't look that good, but it it, it does the job by keeping them in place. So if you want to play them, just just take one out, like, like that. that. Just take one out. I put a little too hard in because I made it a little bit small. Take one out, put it back in, put it back in, like that. And like, if they fall out or something, they just fall back in there. And you can also keep different stuff in here. You can make like, um, I don't know, you can put stuff, maybe like your cord from your 3DS, your charger, your charger, you can put it in here. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Um, getting really close to 150 videos. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank you for 150. No, not 150. 50 subscribers. It's insane. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time.